Cheers guys, uh, hope everybody having a good week so far. Today we're starting a preparation for Alan's um, chopper, the custom chopper in the Reftec engine, big boy, uh, that I introduced to you uh, last uh, Saturday. Well here we go, that's the, uh, that's the front, uh, front, that's the rear mudguard for it, and that thing is absolutely massive, it's huge, it's bigger than me, and it weighs, it weighs about... 87 kilograms <laughs> no joke this thing is seriously heavy and seriously thick um, don't know how well you can see the paintwork on it but it's got some kind of very very ghosty flames kind of uh, black sparkly background and burgundy flames on it and we need to get rid of all that and the clear and and all this it's not a it's not a bad paint job uh, but I've seen better uh, it's not a bad paint job it's, it's, it's the right quality but even though um, I've been doing some work on it off camera and it surprises me that whoever was painting that um, paint job for that quality bike, that level of, uh, of art, they cut corners on the inside. I mean on the inside, right at the moment, I have cleaned it all up and primed it and that's going to be all uh, painted black, like heavy uh, 2K black, so it doesn't rust through or anything. But when I first took that mudguard, the rear and the front mudguard, and I had a look inside, it was full of rust. Um, which was kind of surprising, so I took some paint thinners to it just to clean it all off and the whole paint came off like this, you know, no problem whatsoever, just with paint thinners, I wasn't even grabbing it down or anything. Uh, that means that I was painted with probably a poster paints, <laughs> you know, some kind of water based uh, bullshit paint. And that made me think, why would you cut corners inside, I know nobody will ever see this inside, but it's still, it still rusts and if you take money from a customer, for a quality paint job like this and a, and a massive bike you know because the bike is let's face it it's not exactly a thousand pounds bike is it um why would you cut corners on the inside i don't know well anyway i don't cut corners so i'm going to deal with this properly um i already showed you before how to prepare paint work uh well paint of body work for paint for what i want to do with it so i'm not going to bore you with this you know first thing i will show you how the whole thing looks like right now there we go Um, by the way guys, I just want to show you this quickly What looks like a pinstripe on this petrol tank is actually not a pinstripe in. It's a stencil that has been cut out and somebody uh, spray over it uh, Well, obviously the, uh, the guy who was doing the paint job. It's not a bad job. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not done by brush You can see how uh, The stencil was cut unevenly over here. The only thing that was probably painted by brush this is red bits, as you can see they not exactly the best quality, uh, the, the red bits anyway, because they start, they stop unevenly, you got like blobs bleeding into the other sides, especially here is very visible. So yeah, I can tell that's not pinstriping because these lines they just don't look like uh, lines you can see from uh, here, you can see from, uh, they, they're not lines from a brush, this has been uh, cut out stuck on and somebody painted over that now i'm going to show you how it's look like uh when it's all prepped for with base we're going for black base so uh there you go glossy black paint right now And finally we've got the black base sanded down and that's how it looks like ready for artwork.
there we go guys a uh, quick update of what's going on uh, with this uh, with this uh, project um, next video from that project is uh, hopefully it's gonna be some uh, art and airbrush flying you know colors everywhere I'm not gonna tell you what it is uh, you have seen similar things before what I've done uh, but I'm gonna keep it a secret you need to watch the next video to see what's uh, what's happening what we agree with Alan to uh, what we agreed to um, to to kind of work on it he gave me a loose idea well I gave him a loose idea maybe this way and he agreed with it so uh, next video we're gonna take it for a spin and see whether we can uh, complete that project well artwork anyway because clear code is a completely different story <laughs> but anyway guys uh, thank you very much for watching today have a be Rock hard and I'll see you next time.